it actually takes approximately 23 hours, 56 minutes, and 4 seconds. This rotation is in respect to the distant fixed stars and is called sidereal day. A sidereal day is the length of time it takes a planet to rotate from the perspective of a distant star. Despite a sidereal day seeming pretty clear, it's not what our calendars and clocks are based on, because there is a nearer star whose position relative to us has a bigger effect on our lives, the sun. So, in practice, we measure a day from noon to noon, from when the sun crosses a meridian to when the sun crosses the same meridian again. This is called solar day. The Earth spins around its axis counterclockwise. It also moves around the sun counterclockwise. After a sidereal day, the Earth moves a bit along its orbit. So some more rotation is required for the same meridian to point back towards the sun. That's why a solar day, the longer definition of one rotation, what the modern calendar and clock are based on, is 24 hours.